Welcome to Cook, Serve, Delicious 2 and my continuing attempts to do all the Chef for Hire events, add all the restaurants and get a medal each time, preferably gold. This time around I'm going back to E, the restaurant known only by its letter. And shift number 8. I didn't apparently do very well at shift number 7 and got a silver. This time around at shift number 8 there is eggplant, the pasta I'm not very good at, sliders which I'm not very good at, tabulen I think it's called, or tabulen or something like that, which you prepare easily in advance and it's instantly prepared so that's fine. Eggplant I can do, it's, so two out of these four foods I'm either average to poor at. So silver medal wouldn't be unexpected. The sides are rolls and corn on the cob, the drinks are red and white wine, 70% buzz and 9 serving stations, so it's getting slightly busier. I don't know how well I'm going to do. Like I say, silver wouldn't be unexpected, but I'd like a perfect day in a gold. But just because that's what I'd like, doesn't mean that's, that's what I'm going to get. Prepare some dinner rolls and some corn on the cob. And what the heck, we'll prepare some more dinner rolls and some more corn on the cob. Yep, definitely getting busier. Okay. Uh, bacon is not the B key. Um, cheese, egg and a pretzel top. I did get that right. Onion, chicken, mushrooms and pesto sauce. Bacon, cheese, tomato, and a pretzel top. Beef, bacon, cheese, tomato, and a pretzel top. Beef, avocado, onions, egg, and a regular top. I'm not in a rush hour. Felt like I was in a rush hour. Bacon, is that? Broccoli, chicken, parmesan, and alfredo sauce. Oh, great, that's run out. Um, Sides, which is never great. Beef, lettuce, avocado, onions, and a regular top.
Yeah, I'm slightly busy at the moment, so I'm really not that chatty. Say slightly busy. Feeling a tad overwhelmed. To put it politely. Check in bacon, avocado, sprouts on a regular top. Sliders is not something I'm particularly fond of doing because I'm, I get confused doing sliders. Uh, bacon, olives, chicken, comes out tomato sauce. Decker, number nine. That! Oh, cool, number six is done. Uh, beef, lettuce, sprouts, tomato, and a pretzel top. Oh, cool, here we go. Chicken, lettuce, Bacon, cheese, onions, Swiss tomato, and a petal top. Start you off. Onions, broccoli, olives, peppers, and tomato sauce. God, I run out of that. Uh, parsley, onions, cucumbers, and mint flakes, I think. Chicken oil, seven is a wine. Lettuce, avocado, onions, and a regular top. Chicken, onions, sprout, Swiss, and a regular top. Panette, oil, sausage. Beef and oil for you. Number six is done. Number nine, sausage, mushrooms, peppers, and alfredo sauce. And I'm getting to the point where I would be panicking if the day hadn't just ended. Sausage, parmesan, tomato sauce, beef, bacon, cheese, and a regular top. Mm. Beef and oil for you. And we'll give you a few seconds to get cooking before we start the next set of sliders off. Beef, bacon, cheese, tomato, and a pretzel top. Yikes! That was one I really didn't look up much to actually see what was going on in the restaurant because I really had to concentrate on the sliders and the pasta dish. But I got my perfect day and a gold medal. That was hard work. I'm just wondering. See, now that one the next shift, okay, pot pies can be a bit slow at, but beef wellington, eggplant, momos, even the chicken fajita, uh, even the fajitas, uh, as most of the key presses are exactly the same, it's just the choice of meat that goes with it, chicken or beef or chicken and beef. That one I will actually probably find easier than the shift I've just done. It's amazing which foods you can you find you can do well or reasonably well, and which ones you just struggle with. There's no necessarily rhyme or reason to it. Whereas that one, it's not that actually bad, it's just apart from the sliders. So I think I mentioned previously when I was doing shift 7. Shift 7 and shift 8 were going to cause me more problems than shift 9 and shift 10, even though shift 9 and shift 10 are faster and have got more serving stations. So it's weird how this works. How many shifts are Oh, there's 16 shifts in total. And that'll be a nightmare for me, that last shift. Yep, that's as well that. Yep. That'll be a semi-nightmare. So I'll have a nightmare from at least shift 13 onwards. If not others' shifts as well. But shift 9 and 10 I should actually have less of a problem with. Okay. 
one email. Aren't you glad you hired me? Hello. I, I have some bad news. The stocks we invested in it, we invested in the company developing the Losto flavor are worthless now as the CEO has taken all the investment money and retired to a secret private island. The good news is I managed to contact him and although he's no way legally obligated to give us any of our money back, I used my mastery of persuasion to convince him to send, a, send us a little something for our, all our trouble, which I've attached here. Sometimes this happens and it's never my fault. Bob Tanner. $229 were added to my funds. I've definitely seen that one before, but it's been quite a while. It's always nice when someone gives you $229 you weren't expecting. Wish people did that on a daily basis to me in the street. Okay, that's the end of that episode. As always, I hope you enjoyed, and hopefully I will see you down the road for more Chef for Hire events in Cook, Serve, Delicious 2. Cheerio!